Hello everyone and welcome back to the Coaching Masters channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about how becoming a coach can create huge shifts in the big five areas of your life. Thank you all for joining. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any valuable coaching content on learning how to coach your way to freedom. My name is Bonnie and let's dive in to the area. So the areas that we're going to be talking about today are career, finances, relationships, health, and a connection to something greater. First things first, let's start with career. Now, career may seem like an obvious one. Obviously, if you are going to change your career to becoming a coach, your life is going to probably look pretty different depending on whatever job you are in. So what does it actually look like when you start to create a life as a coach? Well, no more are you gonna have to go sit in traffic, get yourself into the office, sit there for hours at your cubicle or be hours on your feet, you know, rushing around hospitals if you're a nurse or whatever it is. No more are you going to have to be bored out of your mind, just trying to pass the time and, you know, act busy or any of those things. No more are you going to hate what you do. Now you can choose to go all in on coaching and a lot of those things are going to shift. So obviously, <laughs> if you decide to become a coach, you are going to be working from home. So you can wake up, you can have a lush morning routine and then you can dive into your work after breakfast or maybe you do a workout first or maybe you don't like working until the afternoon. You can structure your day exactly how you want it. So if you're productive in the evening, work in the evening. If you're productive in the morning, work in the morning. Do whatever works for you. You can choose to work from cute little cafes or coffee shops if you wanna get out of the house. You can work from co-working spaces if you want to, you know, surround yourself from with some more people. But the luxury of just being able to work from home is so valuable. It's so good and I just love working from home or putting myself in those cute little cafes if I need a little outing to get motivated or inspired or whatever it is. And the day-to-day -day of coaching is going to be a lot of content creation. It's gonna be talking about things that you're passionate about, talking about things that you have been there, done that, that you have experience in, the things that you can share and help others with. You are going to be able to create videos or maybe create a podcast. You're gonna do obviously one-to-one -one coaching, but you can create a lot more offers than that. You can do group coaching, you can go into public speaking, you can run workshops, you can do events, you can do retreats. There are so many options. Podcasts, I don't remember if I said that already, but you can do podcasts. You have tons of things at your disposal, at your disposal, at your disposal, and you can collaborate with others as well. So don't worry. Sometimes being an entrepreneur can be a little bit lonely, but you need to be able to push yourself out of your comfort zone to start creating those relationships so that you can start to build those connections with others as well. Now, a big part of becoming a coach is content creation, especially when we're first starting because this is us putting ourselves out there. And this is obviously not the only way to do it, but this is how I have gained success. This is how Lewis, Liam, and a lot of the other facilitators and trainers have gained success is by putting themselves out there online creating content, but doing posts, doing reels, getting out and making yourself visible. That is the main thing. So however you wanna do that is your choice, but because showing up online means that you have such a great audience because you can market yourself to the entire world, I would definitely recommend that as a place to start. It's so funny because I talk to new coaches and they have such a struggle because they're like, I can't believe that my world is, you know, living on Instagram or social media. It doesn't feel like I'm actually working. And it is, this is work. Obviously there are other things that are gonna fill your day, maybe a bit of admin, maybe a bit of outreach, but the more you work at the beginning, the more you can spend time doing the things that you actually want to do later on. So maybe you love to do the creation bit or the podcast or the speaking or just the coaching, whatever it is, the more you spend 
building the foundations of your business and putting the work in at the beginning, the more you're gonna have the freedom to do all of those other things as well. But remember entrepreneurship, especially at the beginning, you are a person with many, many hats. You are gonna be, you know, all of these different bodies, social media manager, coach, sales, all of these things all wrapped in one, but it does get easier as you go. And honestly, I would rather be doing any of those things than going and sitting in an office all day, all day anyways. Another way your career can change is that you can do it from anywhere in the world. So you can travel, you can do it from any country you want, as long as you're making sure that you're keeping track of the time differences and making sure that they are okay with your clients. But I remember when I first started, I was doing sessions at 3 a.m., 5 a.m., you know, all of these crazy times just because I still wanted to travel, but yet I had all these clients in different uh, time zones and that was fine. I made it work. Now I'm a little bit better at structuring so I don't have to do that or get up at quite, you know, such crazy hours, but it's all part of the fun and all part of the learning and building this incredible business for yourself. Number two, how will your finances change when you become a coach? When you run your own business, you have an untapped potential that you can earn because no more are you defined by your paycheck. So if you think of being an employee, you're gonna get a set amount each month, every month, it's gonna come in, it's not gonna change too much. Maybe you get a bonus there or a promotion here, but pretty much that amount is set for your earning potential for that year and probably for a few years to come. Now, when you're an entrepreneur and when you build your coaching business, you can make as much money as you want. You can definitely make six figures. You can go until the millions, depending on what you wanna be doing. But this isn't one of those, you know, get quick rich schemes, get quick rich, get rich quick get rich quick schemes. It's going to take time to build that up, but it's definitely feasible to be making 5K months, 10K months every month. I know people that make 40K months and six figure months. It's all to come, but it just needs to build. But just think, if you have a client, one client, one one-to-one -one client, and you're charging a minimum of $1,500 a month, that's gonna start to build up quite quick. Now, obviously you're probably gonna be wanting to make more than that, but even if you just made 1,500 to start with, how good would that feel off one single client? That's only one session a week for let's say three months and you're already made 1500. Now, as you start to grow, then you can increase your one-to-one -one packages so that they are even more than 1500 a month, but you're also gonna start to include other offers, so other lower offers. Maybe you have just an entry-level offer and then you've got group coaching or a course that you're selling. And so now you have a few different income streams that are all coming together to just help make you more and more money. And the more stuff you have under you, so a lower offer, then the more you can start to increase your one-to-one -one coaching because you're probably gonna want to start doing that less and less depending on the type of business or the type of things that you want to offer yourself. But even with this, you can start to see that your income is just gonna grow and grow. And I know people that offer one-to-one -one sessions for 40 grand for one-off masterclass sessions that are like three hours long. Can you imagine? That's just in three hours, you've made 40 grand. Now, you're obviously gonna have to build up to that, like I said, so don't think that you're just gonna start this and be able to go get that 40K right away. But you can start to see how it's possible and you can make a, a limited amount of money versus being that employee stuck in a cycle that's just paycheck to paycheck. The third area of your life that's going to change when you become a coach are your relationships. So how are your relationships gonna change? Well, everyone around you is probably going to see a huge difference in you when you begin your coaching journey because you're going to change. You're going to become more self-aware, understanding, empathetic, all of these things, you're gonna be more patient with your loved ones, with your kids, so that you can really start to see new perspectives and you're just going to be able to have conversations versus reactions. So maybe at the moment, you and your child or you and your partner, or you and whoever are seeing different sides of a coin and you're not getting along, you're arguing, you're fighting, Coaching can really help to transform all of your relationships. When you start to share this knowledge with your partner and your kids, 
their world is also going to transform as well so that you guys are all communicating better, interacting better, building those connections to be stronger, more accepting, more loving, more kind. All of those things are going to improve. I know that when I talk to a lot of new coaches, they can't believe how much the relationships have changed and that people really notice a difference in them. You can really start to help those around you with their challenges and their obstacles and the things they need help under overcoming because you are able to help them to see a new perspective for themselves or you know ask them questions instead of just trying to give them advice so that they can really start to uncover the answers for themselves because that is a big part of coaching and you're just going to be an even better friend an even better partner an even better parent because you have these skills also if we put the two together if you've got an unlimited earning potential and you have family that you really care about then obviously this is just going to help to improve those relationships as well because you can look after those that you care about. You can help your parents pay off their debts. You can help to buy them new homes. You can buy yourself a new home and a home for your kids and save up for university and all of these things. So you can just really start to give back to everyone that you care about. Now the fourth area that is going to improve when we start coaching is our health because we are going to be a lot less stressed. Let me tell you, we are no longer going to be slaving away to a crappy boss. We are no longer going to be stressing ourselves out with these projects or things that we don't care about or, you know, overworked and underpaid. Our stress levels are going to go down. And now, obviously, Running a business still has a different level of stress, but I find that it's a lot easier not to burn myself out with my own business because it's something that I'm passionate about. It's something that I care about. So work doesn't really feel like work. I find that for myself as well, that I can manage my health a lot better, a lot easier, because since I can plan out my own schedule, I have the freedom to work out around my schedule as I see fit. So instead of being stuck at a job for eight hours a day or longer, I have a lot more time in my day where I can dedicate it to those important activities that matter to me, like working out at the gym, like working on my mindset, like going into a meditation, yoga, anything like that. I make sure that I can schedule those things and I can schedule clients and work time all around those things so I never have to compromise my health for business. Because let's face it, health is the number one priority. Without our health, we do not have a business. We do not have quality relationships. We do not have good finances because we cannot put the energy and effort into doing it. So our health needs to be priority number one and building your own business having your own business just makes it a lot easier to find the time to fit those things in so that you can prioritize your well-being and we want to practice what we preach so obviously we want to make sure that our own wealth is good that we're eating well that we're working out that we're being a good example for our clients and this doesn't mean that you know we have to be really strict all the time that's not what i'm saying but obviously we want to model that good health is important. Plus, I find that the more we want our clients to work on their health and, you know, prioritize themselves, it actually helps us to do the same. The final area of our life, area number five that is going to change when you decide to become a coach is a connection to something greater. So what is this? This is the fulfillment. This is realizing that we are just a small piece of this gigantic world and there are other people and there is the planet and we want to help to create an impact and help to make these things better for generations to come. When you become a coach, then you are going to really start to see the impact that coaching has and you're gonna really want to be able to pass that on, pay it forward. And by being a coach, you're able to do those things. Coaching has tremendous impacts. My motto, I've probably said it before, I'll say it again, is that healthy, happy people are not off destroying each other or the world. So by me helping others, by me coaching others, and partnering with others to help them to empower them to figure out the answers to their own lives, to become better, to become healthier, to live these lives that they have dreamed of. They are then going to be able to be 
all of these things too. So they're going to have better careers. They're going to have better relationships. They're going to have better finances. They're going to have better health. I am passing that forward onto them. And when they are all those things, then they're going to have more tolerance for others. They are going to be a light for others. They are going to be able to care about recycling and care about climate change and care about all of these things that are happening in the world. Whereas when you are depressed, when you are down, when you are just feeling really crappy, when you're sad, when you're filled with all of this anger, you're not going to have the patience for other people, let alone the planet. So by doing this work, you are making a huge impact on the world in a positive way. And let's face it, when you do good, it feels good. So by you paying it forward, it's just going to improve your overall well-being as well. You're going to be happier. And a lot of us get into this work to be able to give back as well. So the more that we are able to make, the more that we are able to give to others. And so you can find a way to give back in whatever way you want, volunteering, charity, any way you want to be able to help people. Now, can you imagine that all of these things change just by you deciding to become a coach, just by you starting on this path, you are going to have a different career, better finances, improved relationships, better health and a connection to something greater where you can make a really big impact in the world. I honestly <laughs> can't think of anything better. And I have seen all of those areas change for myself, those around me, the other facilitators, the CEOs of the company, all of these things change just by making this step to become a coach. How incredible is that? So if you are looking for a change in your life, if you're wanting to do something different, if you need to improve any of those areas, then maybe it's a sign that you should become a coach too. And don't worry, none of those areas have to be perfect right now. You learning to become a coach is actually going to give you the skills to be able to make those changes, but you're going to see how your life transforms along the way. Let me know in the comments, guys, which area of your life are you looking to improve the most? I can't wait to read your comments. I love to see them, and I can't wait to see you in the next video very soon.